Here are my thoughts 10 days later. So the camera is very heavy when compared to the Nikon Z3300. It makes the Nikon look like a toy. On first impression, the image quality is super high, but this isn't really noticed until you edit. If someone knows a lot about cameras and photography, then they're always shocked to see the Hasselblad. It definitely draws a lot of attention. They wanted to take pictures of the camera and they didn't really care so much to take pictures with the camera. For people who didn't really know so much about cameras, they said how it looked pro and slick and that the pictures looked like paintings. I think this must be down to the Hasselblad colours and the eye dynamic range where we have super rich mid-tones. For me, no more batteries will be necessary because I can use the power bank. Because I use the Wi-Fi transfer feature, I can do approximately 250 pictures per charge. For my workflow, there's no need for an external memory card internal memory is sufficient. It's important to keep in mind that a full raw image will occupy 212 megapixels approximately with low ISO, so approximately five pictures per one gigabyte, so have in mind space consumption. A quick side note is that I have never had to use the lens flare cap and as a result I haven't really seen any flare in the 600 images that I've taken so far. The retractable LCD was not necessary for my workflow, I mainly used it for fun. So this is my review of the last 10 days and I'll be sure to keep you updated with more interesting facts on this really specific photography tool. I'll leave you with the last pictures of the week, see you soon.